How are you doing? It took a few minutes longer, but I got it going. <laughs> okay, well, well, maybe more than a few minutes. <laughs> All right. Okay, so how are y'all doing tonight? Oh, let me turn down the volume on my phone. It kind of freaks me out when I hear myself in the background. It's strange, right? All right, so like I told you earlier, we'll do this um, wreath kit from Trendy Tree. It's really cool. It comes with everything. It's a lot like my kits. I really like some of their kits. Some of their kits are really cool. So I thought we would do this one. So I cut a bunch of it up. You know me, I like to go ahead and cut stuff up. <laughs> so, how are y'all doing tonight? So, I did put the giveaway um, link in the description. So, if you didn't get to sign up for the giveaway earlier, you can do it now. Hi. Hey, friend. Hey, Pamela. How are you? So this is what the kit came with. It had the work wreath, the mesh. I love this mesh. I'm thinking this is going to be my Halloween wreath. Oh, and I forgot to tell my... Give me one second. Sorry, I forgot to tell my mom I was going on. I promised her I would. <laughs> it's just been that kind of day, I'm telling you. Okay, so it has this cute little witch lady. And then there's the ribbons. You have a ghost, some candy corn, the green with a little purple and orange sparkle. You know I love sparkle. And the purple and black. Look at Mari on the ball. She's already got the kit out. Okay. So, I cut the ribbons at 14 inches. I cut the mesh at 30 inches. But we are going to do something a little different today. I thought um, we would do the cruffle. So, just because it's just fun to do something different sometimes, right? Okay. And Bella's here. She's in her spot sacked out. Okay. So, let me get some things moved around and we'll get started. Hi! It is not fabric mesh. It's actually tinsel mesh. So you see it has like little tinsel right in the middle on the top and on the bottom. It's really pretty. It's really, really pretty in person. You know, sometimes the cameras don't really capture things great. So, of course she's the bomb. I know, right? Okay, so I put it on my roller. Yeah, she's sleeping. Oh, baby girl. All right. So, this is cool. So, let me show you how this works when you put it on your roller. So I just roll it out, and I cut just like I normally do two at one time. So I'm just cutting them at 30 inches. There we go. You can put your ribbons on here too and do the same thing. I haven't done that just because I like to use my little um, cardboard, but you certainly can. So I have most of them cut, but I just wanted to show you I cut them at 30 inches. Okay. Hey, honey, did you need something? I keep hearing something in the hallway. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to open all the ties up. So this is one of the pencil work wreaths. I like these too. I really just like work wreaths because it saves me a lot of time. 
And you know I'm all about saving time because I don't have much of it. Bella is a Cheagle, so she is a Chihuahua Beagle Mix. Never heard of that before we got Bella. Alright, so I have the ones on the bottom opened up. And this is how you do the cruffle. So you kind of do like you're rolling. Like this. Like you're going to do a curly. But you do it on both sides. Like this. And then you scrunch it up together. Like that. That is a cruffle. So it's like a curl and a ruffle all together. And you can have as much of the ruffle as you want. It just really depends on what you like. I like it because it's kind of like the best of two worlds, right? So we're going to put it in. Spread it out a little bit. Yes, I love my little girl. She just hangs out with me all the time. It makes us both happy. So, there we go. Remember, if you get that little piece, just trim it off. All right. So it looks a little strange right now, but don't worry, when it, we get it done, it'll look better. It just looks a little different. And it's pretty. Hey Patricia, how are you? Alright, let's get the other side going. There we go. I still like to pull them and kind of have them spread out a little bit. So if you ever wanted to do curls with the 10 inch and you wanted to make them bigger, this is the way to do it. Hey Sherry, how are you? Hey Clara. I do too. Well, I'm a huge purple fan, so. Okay. I do too, right? Isn't it pretty? Hey Cheryl! If y'all didn't see, um, Laura's live. She was live right before me. Make sure you go watch it because she made a really cute Christmas wreath. So. Okay. Now you can also turn these this way. So just to show you the difference. I like to turn them this way just because I like to make sure there's no spaces. But. You want to buy the wreath kits or a wreath? So this wreath kit came from Trendy Tree. And Mari has a link. You just need to follow it. If you're looking for a wreath, they are on Etsy. And I will be releasing a wreath kit too, but it's not Halloween, it's um, fall. It's my last fall one. I 
how fun you can do curls at the same time. Seeing it just depends on how much ruffle you want. So you can do a lot or a little. You can also do it upside down. I'll show you. So I have it right side up, but you can do it the other way too. You know what I like about these things is that every single person who does them does it differently because we all have our own way. So you can do it like this as well. I like to do it like this. And of course you don't have to make your curls real tight. You can make them loose. You could have more ruffle than curl. More curl than ruffle. I know, Kim. I can't wait to do that one. I think I'm going to do it Sunday. That's my plan right now. So, how's the reception looking? Because, man, I'm going to tell you, two days of having the internet people here was quite an adventure. <laughs> they could not get it to work, and they couldn't figure out why it wouldn't work. So, I had about um, four different techs here over a two-day period. Was it four? Four or five. So, it was very interesting. I learned a lot about, <laughs> about the router I have, but, and the guy was, the last guy was really nice and very helpful. So, hopefully they're going to get it figured out. Hey, Angela, how are you? Wow, look how fast those comments go. So, if I don't see you and you say hey to me, don't think it's that I am not saying hey back. It's that the comments scroll so fast. Hey, Susan. That sometimes I have trouble seeing them. Okay. So now we're going to move to the top. So let's put it down. Tie it off. Okay. So let me open these up. Okay. Oh. I love this mesh. Oh my gosh, I might have to get more of this. It's so pretty. Hey Jackie. Hey Amber. Yay! I did. I did get to do a live. I'm hoping I can do one on um, YouTube tomorrow, provided everything still behaves. I was going to try to do one tonight, but... I have I actually have a call after this. I'm supposed to be talking to my soul sisters. We do a call once a week and we were doing our call tonight. So, since I always start the calls, I think they would be mad at me if I, <laughs> if I made them wait. So, okay, absolutely. Okay. So just ruffle them out. See, isn't that cool? It's different. I like different. Okay. I'm sorry, Belinda. See? <laughs> but I saw that comment. Thank you, Teresa. Yeah, well, I know. I think it's fun to do things different, and it's fun for me to do something a little bit different than somebody else. I think the trick to this one is just to kind of 
mess around with it to make sure that it covers the areas you want it to. Okay. It's like a dance. <laughs> There we go. You definitely still want to spread it out so you can fill in those gaps. So, um, it came with two rolls, and this is what I have left of each roll. Mm, so we did 30 inches, so there's 12 on each. Mm, there's probably enough to make maybe three more on each. All right. So that's what it looks like. See, it is different. And you kind of just want to make sure you move them around. Make sure it covers up any holes. And that's where you can kind of spread it out a little bit more. So. All right. See, I like it. It kind of looks like um, it kind of looks like curls, but a little bit different. Well, I mean, of course, it is. <laughs> All right, let's put some ribbon in. So you could really take the rest of this and do. You could do ruffles, or you could do more curls. Just depends on if you want to save it or use it. So these are the ribbons. I cut them at 14 inches. Well, I um, I didn't get to go on last night because I was having so many problems. So I thought I would come on tonight for a little bit. Okay. So I'm just going to grab a couple. Find the center. Pinch it. And then pull it down. I'm not going to open the ties back up. I'm just going to put it down. And then spread it out. Yank on those ribbons. That's what we're going to do. Oh, I love that purple. Me too. Are you leaving, Meredith? I understand. This is definitely later than I'm usually on. Well, not by a whole lot, but a little bit. Okay. So just keep putting the ribbons on. One thing I like about the pencil ties is that they're a little bit longer, so it's easier to get more things in it. You know, unlike the thicker ones. Okay. Hi, Sarah. How are you?
So there is a little gap, but it's not going to be there for long because when you put the ties on the top, it'll cover that right up. And you'll still get to see that curl look. If you don't want to have any gap at all, just have more ruffle and less curl. I just like the curl. Oh, wonderful. Hi, Jessie. How are you? Yeah, so I've been working on some new setup for my videos, and I'm so excited. I don't know, you probably can't see, but I have a big, huge ladder over here, and I am going to be putting a camera above my head so that it'll shine right down on the table, and you can see a little better. I could probably zoom in a little so you can see what I'm doing a little better. There. Okay. Don't you love that purple? Oh my gosh, I love that purple. I love purple and black together. This one of my favorites. Yeah, so if you're new here, if you type live in the comments, you can get subscribed to when I am going live, but make sure when it comes up, you put live in or at least a comment or it won't put you on my list. And make sure you go to the top and click on the giveaway link because I will be giving a wreath away. And that's how you enter. You enter on that wreath giveaway and you'll have oh I don't like that that's upside down you'll have several opportunities to get multiple entries and this way I can make sure every single person was entered it, boy it's hard to come figure out when we're doing comments so we knew we had to come up with a better way <laughs> right, Mari? Because I think Mari was about to kill me when I let people put it in the comments. Oh, no. Please don't freeze. Okay, there we go. So this entire thing came from Trendy Tree. This is a wreath kit from Trendy Tree. And I had to have it because um, it's purple. And I love, love, love purple. And I love Halloween. So, no brainer. And this mesh, oh my gosh, I absolutely love this mesh. It's really pretty. Okay, so on the top, I am going to pull it forward. And then, there won't be any gaps. And we'll still get to see the pretty on the top. I like that. I think, yeah, I think so too. I really like it. I think this is going to be what we're going to put on our door this year. Because I really, really like it. You know what? They send you whole rolls, too. Look, I have a lot left. So I could make bows or decorate. Let's put it this way. Try not to make my ghosts upside down. You have to think about it when you're putting it in. See, isn't that fun? I like the cruffle. I don't do it very often, but I like it. 
I think we kind of all get stuck doing the same thing sometimes. So sometimes it's fun just to do something a little different. Oh, I love this purple. Mari, don't you love this purple? See, that's something Mari and I share. We both like the purple. Purple! Okay, so... Uh, there's 18 in total, and I cut everything at 30 inches, and then I curled it on the ends and ruffled the last little bit. So I curled it from both sides like this, which is what makes it different than a regular curly one, right? Because you're, you're actually rolling it from both sides and not just one side, which is another way to do the curls themselves. So many ways to do things. Okay. Okay. Oh, I like it. Are you watching, Mom? What do you think? Should this be the one for our door? Oh, I will stick to Sundays, don't worry. There we go. Oops, somehow I had an extra one of those. seen how Trendy Tree did this. I just saw it on their website and I thought it was just adorable. Okay, so we got the ribbons in. Oh, look at those colors. I love it. Me too. I love it. There is no wrong way to do a wreath. You are right, Linda. And there's no rules. No rules in wreath making, and there's no wrong way. And that's the best thing, right? And everybody has their own interpretation. And I think that's what makes it fun, too. Okay. So this one comes with little wires. Oh my gosh, how cute. Look, it has a little bit of a black skirt. <gasps> And the legs are wired, so I thought we could kind of have her sitting. Let's see, where do we want to put her head? Okay. Like here. i have her head over here somewhere. Let's see. I wanted to put her on the side instead of in the middle because I'm always putting things in the middle. I thought it would be more fun to put it on the side. Then maybe we can do a bow over here. Me too. Hey Jeannie! Look, there you go! Use the coupon code WITCH and you get $5 off! You better go get it quick before they're gone. All right, so let's just, we're gonna use the wires and I'm just gonna go down and tie them, tie her on to the frame with the wires that come on, on the legs. Okay, so I'm just gonna tie them on right here How are you doing? Okay. Alright, 
this is an adorable kit. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. Let's get her skirt ball. Let's see, where are we going to put her head? Maybe right here. So it's hard for me to see. I do have a pumpkin. Look, look, look. This came from at home. We could put some of this on it. Because look, it's black and purple. I don't like it in the middle, but we're going to put one over on the other side. Let's see. So the head comes with little wires too. Oh, look at her hair. So cute. Alright, so we're going to put her head, I think, about right here. Okay, so I'm just going to take these wires. I'm going to run them down to the frame. Hey, Andrea, how are you? Ooh. I like the purple, though. Purple is my favorite. And this mesh, Jeannie, this mesh is awesome. I love this mesh. I might have to go get some more of that. That tinsel is just awesome. Hey, Teresa, how are you? Me too, right? I love it. And Jeannie gave you a code to get $5 off. How awesome. Okay, so we got our head on. Let's pull it up a little bit. I don't want it to be too close. And I'm just going to take this part and run it down to the frame here. I don't want to tie it too tight because I don't want her hat to get squashed. So. There we go. Okay. So we got her head on. <laughs> she looks a little bit like she's crooked. Let me fix that. There we go. Okay. That's the best thing about having wired. Alright, now let's see. I like that. We're going to do something with this. So you get a lot of ribbon, so let's do a bow. Maybe a couple bows. Maybe we'll do a couple small bows. This is my favorite, the little purple. Thank you, Lisa. That's so sweet. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take these two rolls and we're going to put them on here because it's a little bit easier to roll them out. Otherwise, I'll be over here fighting with my ribbon because <laughs> that's what happens. Alright, so I'm just going to put them together. Let's move this cute little lady. And we'll do our bow. Okay. So I like to cheat and do two ribbons together because um, it's faster. And it's a little bit easier, especially if you're not really used to making bows. Okay, so you just fold it under the side, under the bottom, like that. Fold the other side under and you just want to make sure they match so let's see that's about four inches okay and then you have to twist it and you have to do that to get that pretty side back up we'll do the same size oh pretty soon i have to show you i got the ultimate probo it's like as big as my table I have to figure out where I'm going to put it. Once I get it figured out, then we'll have to do something on that. Okay. Okay, twist. 
twist it. Whoops. Look here, this one didn't get twisted. See, that's why you twist them, because you don't want the ugly side up. Okay. All right. There we go. All right, so we got a little bow. some of these wires that are just one wire. I think it's a 24 gauge and it's about 18 inches. So I'm just going to take that. They're really thick. It just makes it a little bit easier. So I just turn it around and just twist it really tight. And then I don't have to worry about it coming loose. fluff box. It has a little hook. I just stick stick it under the hook and then tie it at the end. Did I scare you, Bella? I'm sorry, baby. It's okay. And you want to work from the bottom. Pull them separate like this. And then just alternate so you don't have the same colors on the same side. There we go. Whoop. There we go. So it doesn't have to be anything big or fancy. It can just be a nice simple bow. And I tell you, I can spend hours fluffing bows. <laughs> it would be very easy to do that. Okay, so we got our little bow. You stick your fingers in and pull it up. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Alright, so I'm just going to put... Take my little wires, move them, tie them underneath. So I don't want to tie it so tight that it's going to squash. So I just turn them around the back and I just go right around the frame and twist it. Just like that. And then you can trim it off and just kind of tuck it under. Like that. And then you just want to refluff. See now since this is Halloween, we could take this little guy and kind of glue him right in our bow. I like that. Okay. So I'm going to turn on Mr. Glue Gun. Alright, so we got one bow. That's so cute. Oh, I love this ribbon. See, I have an orange one. Orange might stand out a little better. That's good. I also have a little skeleton, so we could put the skeleton on. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, my comments have gone way off. Oh. I saw you said something, Mom, but I didn't see it. Alright, so I'm going to give you a little trick with these pumpkins and things. You can take a floral pen and you can go through the mesh or ribbon and go from the bottom where you can't see it. right through the mesh and then just push it right in. 
So these are styrofoam. And then what you can do is just put a little bit of glue around it. It kind of helps to keep it in place. So what I've found is that you can, you can use an awl or an ice pick and you can make a hole and you can run a pipe cleaner or something through it. But a lot of times what happens is if it gets moved around or jostled around in a box, it can come off. But if you put a floral pin in it and you just put a little glue, it usually stays on pretty well. So I've started doing that just because it's a little bit better. I've found that it stays in a little better. Hey Donna! Okay. I love this, love this. I know I saw you comment, Mom. What do you think? This is going to be for our door. Okay. We'll see if he's hot. No, he doesn't like to cooperate. Let's put this one up here. You could also take your pen and take the... and tie it around the tie like this and then stick it in like that. See, it's a lot better. Let's put this one down here. Awesome. Oh, I'm so glad you said something about the pumpkin. I would have forgotten all about it. Okay. Just gives her a little something extra. Okay. There we go. Oh, I love it. Oh, I just love this. Let's see what she looks like. <gasps> so cute. Okay, let's see if it's hot yet. And of course, you can put as many bows on it as you want. That's the great thing, right? When you get a kit, you can decide whatever it is that you like. All right, he needs a minute. He likes to be difficult. Let's see. There, that's a little better. Okay. So what are y'all thinking? Yes, I usually do put glue on the pins, but it's it just doesn't like to get hot very fast. So I don't want y'all to have to wait while he gets hot. But I do always put glue on the pins. And I usually glue a little bit from the bottom just to make sure it's not going to come loose. Because the last thing I want is, especially if I'm sending it out, is to send it out to somebody and it doesn't stay on. Jeannie, is the code WITCH? W-I-T-C-H, all lower caps, all lower case. Thank you. Is it frozen? Yeah. Sometimes if you go out and come back in, it does really well. That thing is still not warm. Okay, well we'll just put him on there and pretend like I glued him on. <laughs> because, yeah, sometimes it just takes a little bit to get hot. Alright, so what do y'all think? Let me take this guy off and we'll shake it. Uh-oh, something flew off. Oh, it was that one. Ooh. Hi, Bella. Yep, so that's why you glue it in. Glue the pen in. Oh, it fell out, that's why. What did I do with them? Oh, they're there. Okay. No worries. This is why we do the shake. <laughs> right? Because 
I'll have to make sure because if it comes loose later, that's not good. Let's see if this is working now. Yay! There it goes. Okay. Now we can stick it in. Okay. All right. Now we can put our little guy on. I like to glue things on the bow because it kind of makes it seem like, I don't know, like it's part of the wreath. All right. I think she turned out really cute. What do you guys think? Whoop, it might work if I scroll down. <laughs> All right, well, she's done. I really like her. I'll have to put something over here. I'm not sure what I'll do. I might do a little bow. You know what, let's do a little bow. We could do like a... Let's cut like... We're going to do like 20 inches. I'm going to do two of them. Thank you. I know. I love it, too. You know how fast things go. If you're going to make one, make sure you go get it. Okay, so I'm just going to fold this one over and pinch it. Let's dovetail it first. So, fold it over. Cut away from yourself. Just pinch it. It's about four inches. And then you can just turn the bottom around like that. And you just tie it in. Aha! Awesome! There we go. Oh, cute. See, I really love that purple. I love the purple ribbon. It's just so cute. Use Julie's funky bow. Here we go. All right. I think she's good to go. Awesome. This time when we shake it, nothing falls off. <laughs> Thank you. I love her. Okay. So I think we are all set. So make sure you enter the giveaway because I am celebrating uh, reaching 100,000 likes on my page. And I just wanted to thank y'all for all the support you've given me. It just really means so much to me. Yeah, it passed the shake test. You know I have to do my shake test. So, make sure you go join so that um, you have a chance to win. And I'll either be giving away a wreath, pretty much any wreath I have in my shop, or a kit to make a wreath. It'll be up to you. Hey, Trixie. How are you? Yeah, and make sure you go get this kit. It's really cute. And if you wanted to add this on, this came from at home. It just came in a little bag. Are you unmad at me now? Come on. Come on. It's okay. Come on, girl. Okay. I think she's forgiven me for making big noise now. <laughs> she really does not like that at all. Okay. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you for jumping on with me at the last minute. I'm usually a little bit more prepared than this, but, you know, life happens, and sometimes you just have to kind of roll with it, right? So, hey, if y'all buy this and make the kit, make sure to send me a picture. I'd love to see what you come up with, because this is an adorable kit. All right, well, y'all have a wonderful and blessed evening, and I will see you on Sunday.